brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to add a running total by group and for all the rows in SSRS report. So we will be creating a group report first and then we'll be adding running totals. Now let me take you to the SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and run my query. So here is my query that is returning me 11 records. So I have a region here and on a region I'm going to group by and the running total I'm going to uh, create uh, I will be doing on items uh, sold so here some I will display any first name and last name and then we will have items sold and group by region so you can remove all those columns if you like but um, uh, doesn't really matter um, for me uh, here uh, first name last name product names items sold that's fine and uh, the region uh, uh, that's all I wanted so let me take this one copy run this query this looks good Go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and check the shared data source. So, so this is pointing to the sales database. That's where our query uh, uh, is running and uh, we have the table in the sales database. So we are good. If uh, we don't have a shared data source for this, uh, we can create the embedded one or we can create a new shared here by right clicking and go to add data source and create a new one. So now we are good. Go to the reports, add new item in the reports. Uh, uh, click sorry in the items uh, click the report and create empty report so we are going to call it a running total total by group and detail as well so I'm going to keep the name as short now here in the data sources uh, right click and go to add data source and you can create a new one that called embedded that will be specific for this report but we want to use the shared one because we have it why not to use it and here we are going to call this one ds sales so this is a pointer to the shared data source once we are done with that we go to the data set and that's where we are going to use our query so we will be calling uh, uh, or actually using uh, this data set as embedded because this is specific to this uh, report uh, and none of other report is using this uh, data set uh, so I don't need to make this one as a shared so I'm gonna call this one uh, D set and uh, let's make it simple sale so that's all we have it here now right click here and say insert and in the insert uh, you will be adding a, a table once you are done with adding a table you can drag the columns or you can just click here and add new one so I'm just adding the columns here let's bring the product name here and items are sold now I did not include the region because I want to group by on the region so we are good here click here bold italic and uh, make it different color at least uh, to some extent it should look a report now we have sale person name first name last name and product name and all that what we want to do first of all let's create a group so now in the region there are multiple ways you can create a group you can drag this region to the here on top of detail and that will create a group or you can click here and say add group and parent group so let me this time let's drag this one so let's drag and see the line is blue now so paste it here now it is a group now we can preview it and we can see that it is a created a group by the region so we have asia europe and north america i i purposely did kept the data set small so you can see how exactly it work on one page now we need to add a column called running total so let's go back to design and here expand a little and move this one on the left side and uh, now we are going to go ahead right click here insert column on the right and uh, we call this one running total total by group okay so we g have given the name to this one we can expand a little bit so it can be fitting in next uh, we need to click here go to the expressions uh, in in the expressions we will be using a function so go to the common functions in the aggregate function we will see running value so click on this uh, running value function once you click here you will uh, it will paste here and there are things we can use here so we need to provide the field first and then we have to provide the, the operator operation we are doing some and then we have to provide the name of the scope so here the scope is uh, the uh, group so if uh, I will go ahead and provide the field first so let me go to the field and here we are going to go ahead and use the item sold and then we are going to say comma sum that's what we, we want to do and next uh, 
see scope scope as a string so it means string mean we have to put in the double quotes and here this is my group so the group name you see that region that's what we need to provide so I'm gonna call this one region and that's it now running total is going to happen by region now hit ok and we can go ahead and take a look so if you see here one and we see one and the one plus two that make it three and then three plus five make it eight and then uh, we have uh, eight plus two make it ten so if you see here we have ten then next is Europe that's Petra Henry uh, and uh, she has made some sale and that's starting with the ten if you see ten, see ten here and then it is adding seven so make it seventeen and then uh, next is seventeen plus two is nineteen so it, this ten is not coming from top so this is just uh, uh, I don't know <laughs> somehow uh, the value matches uh, it is not uh, the values coming from top uh, but uh, it is uh, simply even the calculation it was there for the sale so that's why but here you you can see Amir Shahzad it's starting with one again so one plus two three and three plus three six and five so it is divided by the group so running total is uh, by group now let's uh, go ahead and uh, now if we want in running total uh, by entire detail or a data set uh, so what we can do we can go back here and uh, add a new column insert on the right and then we have to say running total detail so this is going to be for uh, all the records uh, so you can see that here then we go here and then right click go to expressions we'll be using the same function but the scope will be different go to aggregate running value here we will be saying field same field we are going to use item sold and then comma sum and then here we'll put the data set name so we'll call it d set and then underscore sale so that's how we are taking care of it the scope is on entire data set so each of the record you will see so here you can see that uh, one three eight uh, so one and then we have three and then uh, three plus uh, uh, what happened so this is a mm, yep that's correct information so we have uh, one and uh, <laughs> see this is confusing so I it is coming from here right let me color this part item sold so the calculation is coming from here I was checking the other one that's not right so now you see one plus three uh, two ugh. one plus two is uh, three and then uh, we have uh, five uh, plus three that make it eight and then we have uh, uh, eight plus two make it ten and uh, that's uh, then ten plus ten uh, make it uh, twenty so in this one uh, we can see that uh, the running total is going uh, by the detail or by the entire data set and here it is going to go by the group once the group is done it will be restarting so that's how we can add the running total and use the function running value with the different scopes and add them now uh, one more thing if we, you, you like to add let's say we want to just add uh, the uh, values by group we can add have that this will be the same but we have seen so let me go ahead and change the color so this is where you will see exact the same thing because on the group when you are doing the running total at the end of the group you will have total amount so your 10 is matching with 10 and here 19 is matching with 19 and 11 is matching with the 11 so if I will total by group this is the same number I will get at the end of the running total by the group so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video